Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Dr Rakshita an ENT specialist recently passed out from MVJ Medical College and Hospital Bangalore thank you for joining Hi Shivam thank you for having me and today we will talk about the scope of ENT so let's begin like firstly like what are the degrees which can be pursued in india as well as abroad for ent post mbbs after mbbs you could go one of two routes one is md or ms in ent or you could do dnb in ent now ms is masters and uh, dnb is diplomate in national board both the exams are pretty much at par with each other after which you could do fellowships in various fields sub specialties in ent or you could take up a formal degree like mch and uh, for mch you would have head and neck oncology after ent and along with that there are some other specialties that are being considered this year which is plastic surgery surgical oncology and neurosurgery okay and what are the college you find the best in india for pursuing this specialty um shivam i think it's more about how much you take from the college as opposed to the college itself uh but of course like any other medical uh, or surgical branch uh, the premier institutes would definitely be right at the top be it aims uh, pgi chandigarh or uh, cmc well or any of these premier institutes following which you'd probably have the government medical college of the particular state that you are in or you're planning to study in and then you would have the private medical colleges okay and what do you have to tell about the scope of ent in terms of job profiles in india as well as abroad um so after finishing your masters or your dnb in ent you could either uh, take up a job in a medical college where you do a senior residency or you could join any of the corporate uh, hospitals which is like apollo wakard or manipal any of these corporate chains or you could again do a private practice which may or may not be associated with sort of uh, a surgical setup okay and what is the approximate range of salary for the job profiles you mentioned in india as well as abroad um again there is no upper cap to how much you can earn it all depends on your skill whether it is in india or abroad uh, as far as abroad is concerned definitely it would be about two times of what you would make in india and uh, the recent studies state anywhere between 413 to 455 dollars i mean 1000 dollars Uh, per uh, annum so again it all depends on your skill and uh, kind of how much you can do and sort of how much time and you know dividends that you can get okay and what do you think about the market demand of this branch in india um it's a surgical specialty so definitely an evergreen branch uh, i don't think considering the you know dearth of doctors that we have in india i don't think there should be any issue with market demand of any uh, sort of uh, uh, specialty post uh, mbbs as far as abroad is concerned as well especially in gulf countries there's a lot of demand for uh, ent surgeons okay and what advice like a general piece of advice you would like to give to your juniors who are thinking of pursuing this specialty um definitely those people who have an interest in surgical branches or who have interest in endoscopies who have very good hand eye coordination or enjoy micro surgeries uh, microscopic surgeries things like that uh, those are the people who would definitely enjoy the subject a lot more and then again depending on how much interest and passion you have towards the subject i think that kind of drives what uh, specialty you should be choosing down the line Okay that was a great piece of advice and I'll cut this video here it was a great conversation with Dr Rakshita looking forward for recording more such videos thank you thank you Shivam